What up guys, Mad Viking here. Almost forgot, but I'm still getting this video out. I was going out the door and then I remembered today is Wednesday and I'm going to the mall show. They're having the final show of the year. Big extravaganza. Uh, some big matches tonight, so look for that later on. But uh, it hit me, hey, tonight is Wednesday. Duh, T uh, AEW Dynamite is coming on. And I forgot to get this card lineup out. Um, it looks to be a stack show so far. I couldn't find any information on uh, NXT this week. I only did that for last week's one. Uh, but this seems to be a pretty good stacked card. Uh, we're going to have a SoCal Uncensored versus Young Bucks for the AEW World Tag Team uh, titles. It's interesting that they would have this type of match so soon, uh, unless they're going with a change in titles. Because... Um, I think NXT creeped on them a little bit last week in the ratings, but NXT is also stacking their shows. It's not exactly a uh, fair competition when they're bringing in main roster guys on every show to battle people. But um, I think it would just be a little weird here if the Young Bucks lose this match. But maybe they're going for something big because it's the final show of the year. Um, and Maybe having a title switch, title change from uh, SCU to the Young Bucks? Um, uh, I don't know. I'm leaning that way, but it would be kind of crappy for SCU because they haven't had the belts that long. Um, uh, see, Logic would tell me Young Bucks are going to win this, but I don't know. I'm just going to go with that because I don't want to speculate too long. But this should be a good match as well. Uh, Chris Jericho versus Jungle Boy for the uh, AEW World Heavyweight title. They've been building this now for the past couple of weeks. We know what this is. This is just a filler match. It's to keep giving Chris Jericho opponents, basically, to wrestle. Um, this is going to be good for Jungle Boy because it's going to elevate him. It's going to promote him, and we're going to get to see... I don't think... Have we seen a singles match out of him on TV? I don't think we have. Uh, of course, everybody knows he's not winning this match. It's Chris Jericho for the win. But it's going to help build up the younger talent here. Um, Lucha Brothers, Ray Phoenix, Pentagon Jr. versus Adam Page and Kenny Omega in a tag team match. Now, I don't know where they've been going with this Adam Page character. Like, now he's a loner, drunk, and he thinks he's a loser because uh, he thinks he's the weakest link of the elite guys. And not that even the elite seems to exist anymore on AEW because they don't really talk about it in, like, Kenny's a bad guy. That's how it seems. Uh, an unhinged dude. Page is lost, and they say he's on a losing streak. Um, the Bucks are still good guys. Cody teeters in between baby and heel. But, I mean, uh, I have a feeling uh, Adam Page is going full heel tonight and somehow betraying Kenny Omega, which doesn't make any sense because it seems like it's kind of rushed if they're doing this. Like uh, last week, what was it? The little thing on the headline when Paige came out. Paige sat, a home, sat alone home drinking a bottle of whiskey or something. Like they're just portraying him like a loner drunk. And that's how they had it on. Had him portrayed this last episode of Being the Elite. So I think they're going to turn uh, Adam Page here. Um, which would, of course, set up matches between him and uh, Kenny Omega. Uh, which would be a great feud. But uh, if this happens, obviously, uh, Pentagon and Phoenix go over Omega and Adam Page, and that's what I'm going to pick. Um, we have Cody Rhodes and Darby Allen versus The Butcher and The Blade tag team match. Boy, they're jumping on that real quick, aren't they? Um, of course, Allen came out last week and picked Cody up off the floor after their loss, after his loss with QT Marshall versus The Butcher, The Bunny, and The Blade. Um, I do kind of like the new group. Butcher and the Blade. Uh, and of course, because there's a lack of main eventers, this is what Cody is kind of stuck in. But also Cody's stuck in because there you have to go somewhere eventually at some point with this I can never challenge for an AEW title ever again because we just know that's not going to happen. But this is obviously filler too to give Cody something to do. And I would say Cody's probably the top guy in the promotion. Uh, uh, Jericho has the title, but I, I think Cody is legit the top dude. And um, this, like I said, this is just to give him something to do until he's back in the title picture. 
Who do I think is going to win here? Uh, I would assume with Allen, they come out on top on this one. I don't think Cody's going to lose two weeks in a row. Um, this should be a great match just because now Allen's in it. We're going to see some crazy spots for sure, which uh, has me excited. Uh, but, yeah, that's who I'll pick. Uh, Rhodes and Allen over Butcher and the Bunny. We're going to have Dr. Britt Baker versus Chris, Chris Statlander for a number one contender match for the Women's Championship. Um, Statlander, for whatever reason, is still being pursued by uh, Brandy Rhodes uh, and Awesome Kong to join the Nightmare Collective. That was the name of the group. Now, we did see last week in their promo that she has that girl they pulled out of the audience. I think she's a wrestler. Uh, she was in the promo, but there was also some guy sitting with his back turned towards the camera with his head shaved, and Brandy Rhodes hugged and kissed him. Uh, are we going to see who this guy is uh, this week? Uh, is he going to be revealed? Um, I don't know what I think of this group that Brandy Rhodes is starting. It's basically like an SES group. It's very similar to basically what the Dark Order stuff is going through. Um, do they need uh, another spooky group uh, in AEW? No, I very much approve of what the Dark Order stuff is doing. I think it's brilliant. Uh, but I don't know that Brandy Road should be getting a similar push doing a similar angle. That's just me. Uh, and we're going to see Awesome Kong in action, finally. I mean, what do they pay her? And all she does is follow Brandy Rhodes around. I thought about that last week. I'm like, when is she going to start earning her paycheck? Uh, it doesn't say who she's going to fight. Uh, probably be uh, somebody lower end on the card or somebody brought in just to lose to her. Because they obviously she's supposed to be the muscle for Brandy. They got to showcase her at some point, right? Uh, so, anyways, that is tonight's AEW Dynamite episode lineup. Uh, I think my my predictions hold up just about every week. If I don't get four out of five, I get five out of five. So we'll see how I go with this. Like I said, uh, I'm going to the mall show tonight. It's the last show of the year because the next Wednesday show is what Christmas, and then the next Wednesday show after that is New Year's, and they're not running shows on those nights, so there won't be any uh, mall wrestling for a while. So, anyways, uh, look for that video later tonight. I will have it up sometime before midnight because I get out of there at like 10, 10.30. So, anyways, hit like, subscribe, hit that notification button for all future content. Leave a comment if you want. Tell me what you think. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Mad Viking out.